Are you looking for a way to carry all your body and shower gear with you this summer? I think I have a good option for you. Welcome to David Does. Today we're taking a look at the Peak Design Wash Pouch. If you're new here, I do all types of reviews for travel equipment and photography gear. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not new here, you know I love Peak Design equipment. Recently, a lot of my videos have been Peak Design. If you haven't watched it, I just did a review of the Tech Pouch, which is very similar to this, of course, with a few differences in mind. The reason why we're taking a look at the Peak Design wash pouch today is I've been traveling a good bit for the summer and I've had this wash pouch from REI for quite some time. And it's okay, it's a hanging wash pouch, but the problem is whenever you fill this up, it gets super wide and it's like very clunky. It doesn't fit in my bag super well. The Peak Design wash pouch is still pretty big, but it's a more traditional design, so it's a little bit easier to pack in my suitcase. I picked this up solely because it looks just like the tech pouch I already have from them. They make really solid gear, and I like that for traveling with me, so I figured I better pick this up and give it a shot. Right off the bat, this thing is made of a little bit of a different material. I think it's waterproof or essentially it can get a little bit of moisture on it and it's not gonna hold that in. The other thing about it is it has this hook here. Essentially this can be hung up in a shower or in a restroom while you're using it to kind of keep all your stuff organized. That was something I really liked about my REI pouches. I could have this hung up on a hook. Everything's nice and easy right there. And when I'm ready to leave for my return home, I just zip it all up, throw it in my bag and I'm good to go. We're gonna take a look at the compartments inside of this. I have a few items that I generally take with me. If you have any questions about what will fit inside of here, let me know. I'm a brand new YouTube channel, so I'm happy to try some things out. On the back side of it, it has this really large zipper compartment. It looks really large, and really what it is is a toothbrush holder, and at least what I'm using it for. It's not very deep at all. Uh, it's just enough to hold a toothbrush. Here I have a Quip toothbrush. I'm gonna give this a shot. This thing's like 20 bucks at Target and you can change the head on it. And also there is a, uh, essentially uh, a cover that goes with it. Uh, the new heads are like five bucks. I normally don't take my good uh, Phillips with me when I travel uh, and hopefully I can get some more use out of this thing. I'm keeping it in its nice brand new tube for my next trip to Los Angeles. So that fits extremely well up here. My larger everyday brush that has a big battery and spins fits in here just fine. Uh, I'm sure pretty much any toothbrush will. It's nice that they have this in its own compartment. I don't like my toothbrush being all around all of my other stuff, like my body wash or shampoo. Things do happen. If you travel enough, your shampoo will explode. Uh, I have a tip for that, which I'll talk about in a moment, but uh, it is nice that that's separated. There's one thing that the tech pouch has that I wish this had, and it's this accordion grip right here. So on either side, you can grip it and open it and very easily access what's inside of it. I think I understand why they didn't put it. Uh, it number one, it's, a, it's an additional cost, and the purpose of this is to be hung up, uh, so you can access it very easily, not really opening it like this, where a tech bag, you're pulling it out of a backpack, looking quick, and throwing it back in. But I think it would have been nice if they did put that there. I was trying to take some shots of it for the YouTube channel and it was kind of hard <laughs> to get a good photo of it spread apart like that. That's really it on the outside. There is a single loop here uh, for carrying it or hooking it onto something. Uh, I probably won't have too much use for it. The same down here, there's a little loop. I'm not quite sure what you'd hook there, maybe a carabiner. Uh, but let's take a look on the inside. Whenever we open this up, there's essentially three main compartments. There's a large opening here and a large opening on the bottom. And then this organizer in the middle, which is pretty slick. Um, the top here just has three large mesh organizers. I have some contact solutions, some dry shampoo, and then just some tubes of moisturizer and toothpaste there. They fit super well. The organizer itself in the middle actually has this zippered compartment. If you open this up, there's a larger area on the inside for throwing things. I have a razor in there right now, uh, but there are three smaller dividers and there's actually something in here I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I got these recently and they're pretty slick. I do like to travel with some sort of nail clipper or toe clipper. If you're out for more than a week, you're probably gonna need them. Uh, this is a Victorinox nail clipper. It is incredibly small, very flat, uh, lightweight, and it kind of just springs apart. The build quality of this thing is really nice. Uh, it's not very expensive at all. I'm gonna link it. Uh, it has a nail file. 
and this small little case here. Very easy just to throw it in there. It keeps your pack lightweight. Uh, but yeah, that's what I have on the inside. I think that would be a good place to put contacts if you're gonna put them somewhere. Moving further along in the center divider, there is this small magnetic piece. Uh, I have a comb in there as you can see. It's not very deep. It only goes probably about three inches down. Uh, like I have there just a comb. I think that's the perfect option for you. And finally, in the other large compartment, the only organizer that's there is actually attached to the centerpiece, unlike the one up here, which is actually attached to the back of the bag. This is probably where I put any large piece of equipment. I have this mirror uh, that I take with me in case I don't have a mirror uh, that actually came from my REI bag. I just threw it in there. It has come in handy a few times. If you take a look at this thing while it hangs, everything is nice and easy to access. It's all very easy to view in part is how it's made in the accordion style here, but also the nice light gray interior. It's a nice touch. If you've ever had a completely black bag, it is so easy to lose something in the bottom of it and now you're searching for it. You may never find it until you're ready to throw that thing out and you're kind of dumping it upside down. I have high hopes for this bag. I'm gonna try it out for the next few weeks. I have a trip to Los Angeles coming up here and it's definitely gonna be my go-to wash bag for the time being. If anything changes on my opinion about this, I'll let you know. I'm a brand new YouTube channel, so I don't receive any type of compensation for reviewing this. This was purchased with my own money. I only purchased this because I have good faith in the Peak Design product. I've used their stuff in the past. If anything changes about that, I will let you know. Uh, if you've noticed, I did a review of the paper shoot camera uh, and I actually had a really bad experience with it and I filmed a video follow-up on it. The same with this. I really don't expect anything to happen with this. I expect this to work pretty well, but uh, that's the benefit of subscribing to a smaller YouTube channel like myself. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I love that type of interaction. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to David Does.